Hey folks, welcome to round three. Oh, we're in the draw again, and yeah, this is a keep. It's a, not a happy keep, but it's a keep. We don't have any stack interaction, which is always sad. You know, <laughs> based on how I evaluated my opening hands, I might want to just consider playing even more forces, since I'm always like, I don't have a force wheel. This hand sucks. Um. So I could cantrip here, but um, I don't really want to turn on their Gaius Cradle. Uh, I could also just pass and see what they do. Well, that's, yeah, like I said, I think Gaius Cradle, uh, Cradle is good enough a reason to just, to just kill, kill this here now. Um, it's a bit tricky, since I don't have my second land drop, but if I have to day something, I can't really do that anyway. So this puts me in a position to be a bit more aggressive with my days, and see uh, what that brings me. Uh, Lenoir Elves, okay. Okay, they didn't play into my days. Um, now, based on what they have, they're pretty likely to tr want to try and find a dry Arbor here. Um, I don't think I can just not make a land drop this turn, so I just want to see as many cards as I can with the Ponder and hope I can Lightning Bolt this turn. Uh, so I'm definitely going to shuffle this. Hope to find something useful. Okay, that was not it. I think I think it's okay to uh, correct, let's say, ish, to ponder there. Um, the downside of not being able uh, of just playing a lightning bolt and saying go and not hitting my, hitting my land drop, I think is too big. Um, this does mean, of course, that if we miss, we fall behind quite far. Um, yeah, certainly this can be countered itself. This card is so incredibly good for us. Okay, now we just have six. They have a shepherd in play and uh, can make a bunch of mana. So now they have plus two mana. They have a land. They have two mana, yeah. Okay, so now they have five mana. This is going to be rough. We're probably dead here. Um, if not, if you draw land, we can maybe... Uh, kill a shepherd, kill something else, and have our forces online. But missing there was just really punishing. They can do a lot less with that glimpse on that turn if they are if they just they just don't have one of these. But now it's. Uh, I do have to say, by the way, um, they didn't activate this before using their cradle, which is kind of a surprise, since they. Could have gotten more elves into play first before activating this, but is this a second shepherd or just an insect, or do they have enough gas and just get the uh, get the mana here? I don't know. So they are unlikely to have a lot of elves in their hands because if they did, I think they just get something that generates more mana. So, in this case, I have to assume that they're pretty far out of the gas at the moment, but yeah, look at what they have. Uh, I, I will <laughs> have to find, <laughs> try and find through that while also being stuck on land. Okay, um, so I really have to dig deep here. This C3 cards this as well. Just gonna brainstorm here. I need so many, so many things to go right anyway. Yeah, we can scoop this game up. Um, yeah, and not finding land on turn 2 there is, was just really rough while already being on the play versus elves. They just had a fine hand with the ball, Alasaur Shepherd, which shut down any chance we had of like making up for the fact that we had little lands. So, so now we get our submerge, our rough, two abrades. Blazing Volley and a Hill Breacher, and we can consider the Spell Pierce. 
I don't think with the Shepard and everything they have in their deck now, this is good enough, but it's a consideration. Uh, Cloud is nice for the clock, but I don't think it's good enough. On the play, I, I like having days just to um, get through the first couple of turns without falling behind too far. Um, I normally quite like Force of Negation, but Alzar Shepard put so much pressure on this. Like uh, The removal spells are always more important, but it's even more true now. There's a consideration. I, I haven't played that much against Elves with Shepard yet. Um, if I were to test it for like a Grand Prix or something, since one of my teammates is always on Elves, I would certainly um, play a bunch of games where we board in Surgical Extraction just to see how that works out. Because um, I do think it's uh, important right now that we can just get rid of our Elser Shepherds and turn on the rest of our cards. Um, but for now I'll leave them out. Uh, we need two more cards. I usually like cutting cards like uh, you know, Pyromancer, True Name Nemesis, um, but we don't have those. Um, Brazen Borrower is a nice out to something like Choke. Um, but I think we have to focus on not being too inefficient with our mana here. So what I'm going to do is trim it like this, keep the pressure in, and just try to close the game early. Um, I think Elves has got a powerful enough that we have to stop their earliest plays with stuff like Force of Will. Um, earlier we could just uh, counter their payoff, so we could be a bit lighter on uh, these kinds of interaction. But we really have to try and snowball the game now. So that's why I'm going to try and keep all the forces in. Uh, yes, I'd like to be in the play. That sounds like a good plan. I'm going to keep this. Um, my two drops are more important than my one drops. So there's a consideration to uh, try and lightning bolt something so we can play a two drop if you draw it. But uh, it's just way better to use our mana for sure. Just ponder on turn one um, with the volcanic island and then have bolt up for the turn two play. Um, I like having a threat. We don't really need the other mana. I think it's important to have to, enough to just have something that beats down. That being said, we only have one removal spell and one daze. And I do kind of want to daze something early. Um, so the Pyridane is not really a card I want, the Dorat is one of our less ideal threats here in the spot, since I really just want Arcanist. Um, and I'm going to shuffle this and just hope to find more removal in Arcanist, since that's just so more important. We have to destabilize them or run away with something. Let's see what they have here. Um, because we didn't keep the 2 mana threat, I'm a bit more likely to aggressively daze. But I think I like letting a Nettle Sentinel stick around for a, for a bit. Um, so now I'm just going to play this Golden Tarn and Pass. I'd like to keep my options open here to either cast a Braid, to like the, the mana inefficient play, or to make the mana efficient play with Lightning Bolt. Uh, they of course attack here first. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a good reason to uh, kill something here now. I really want to keep the option open to double kill something. And if they use, just you use a cradle for one mana, that's fine. Now, depending on what they put on the stack, we can always look to upgrade something. But Another nettle sentinel. Alright. So there's probably an elf that taps for mana if they play it in this order. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna braid one of these and daze their heritage druid. Um I think I want the um, mountain in play. Just so we have at least one land that untaps when they uh, happen to find a joke. Um, 
Alternatively, I could just hardcast days this. Then I have three mana on the next turn, that does give, give us more options, and they only have two Nether Sentinels. Mm. But uh, that does mean I fall quite a bit behind. Like if they do have a cradle or something like that. Yeah, I think I have to spend my mana. Mm. No. You know what? I am gonna hardcast days it. I just think that I want to start my next turn with Bonder and make a plan from there. Um, partly because I really need to get my Dreadlord Arcanist online if I find it as soon as possible. And this allows the, uh, me to do that a lot better. Okay, so we didn't have to have to ponder into it. Um, now we can consider either um, letting them untap with the two Nether Sentinels or not. Uh, they didn't play Cradle last turn. Well, they had. Oh, they were playing around days, so they couldn't really play their stuff first stuff around days with the Cradle anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna pass. Like if they have a value draw where they um, they're gonna play around with the insect and stuff like that, I really don't want to be uh, killing cards that don't really do anything. So this is great for me. Um, well, no, they're gonna tap anyway. Or like now they don't have the blockers, but now they're gonna tap anyway. See what they do here. Um, they didn't have a cradle, which is good. So a crime and ranger, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't generate anything extra for them for having the sentinels in play. Oh, there's the abrupt decay. That's a bummer. We really needed that. Nah, because of how the game is playing out, I think the Nether Sentinels are more dangerous at the moment than the uh, Crown Ranger. They have quite a but um, they might quite a bit of uh, land drops already. They have some mana. They're not at four yet, which this provides them. So um, there's consideration to just kill that. Um, this is interesting. I could either just kill both their creatures, which locks them out of natural order. Or I could keep the Hell Breacher for if they glimpse. Which are basically the two cards I'm most afraid of. Um, I think it's safer to just kill this. But that does mean we're spewing these cards while they're way more valuable than a lot of other targets. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this is risky what I'm doing now, but um, I think there's a reasonable chance that they're just not gonna go for a uh, natural order. And if they attack with the Crown Ranger, I'm definitely gonna jump block it. For, uh, kill it with uh, the old breacher and ambush it. Um, that's, since that's just a free uh, free card for me. Hope they don't have another approved decay. They didn't. Great. Now, if they have natural order and a land, they're a bit more likely to go for it since they're probably feeling that they're falling behind here. Avenging ooze. Okay, so that's not outgrowing uh, bigger than a tree tree, so that's fine. Really happy that they're playing this now and not when they have two mana up. Um, well, the Blazing Volley isn't too great here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm you know, for sure just gonna braid this. And I think I'm gonna keep up my mana for this turn cycle. Or do I want to get the... 
Arbor off the table. They, it is one of the easiest way for me to lose if they do have the natural order. Mm. But giving up blazing volley is pretty rough. Could also kill the natural sentinels, so I can start attacking. But that that does mean they can get the natural order for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I, like, I I want a turn to be able to dig for uh, a daze or something, and then keep up the lightning bolt for their uh, other source uh, shepherd. I'm not gonna block here, since uh, having bolt for the shepherd makes it a lot safer for me if I do find the counter. So they do still have four mana, and I think they don't have the natural order then, since they uh, don't use it. Definitely want to ponder here. Um, Reason Borrower could give us some pressure over the following turns. Um, in any case, I think I have to start beating down. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to shift from my library. Um, I'm going to attack with the Hill Breacher first before I do anything else. They could have a flash uh, elf and then I might want to build something. Um, and I'm, I, I know now that I'm going to flip the Delver next turn. So I just want to make sure that I don't die to something like the Nature Order that I was, uh, I'm being afraid of or something like that. So this is now six power time two and I can dig with my branch for another bolt and we uh, can try to get there. Oh, that's giving me mana. Nice. I'm gonna brainstorm here before combat, just in case we find something useful. I think I want to put the brazen borrower and the brainstorm back. Take with these. Now we have days for if they have a naked natural order. And the Delver that's also going to flip, that's going to make it lethal next turn. So I think this worked out pretty well. I, think there's a f I don't really see how we lose now. They could have some nasty removal spell, but... Yeah. Okay, let's hope we can... Uh, like, on the, on the play it's a lot easier. Of course, uh, we were playing towards our Dreader Arcanus and it got upper decays, which, uh, decay, which is al also always rough. Um, but on the, um, the draw, there's so much more pressure on us to have the early interaction. Like, we have to go bolt into interaction, into Arcanus plus interaction. We, we can't really, like, bolt turn one and then uh, interaction of uh, Arcanus on turn two and, and uh, still expect to win. Which is, like, the big issue here. Um, I'm thinking about it a bit more. There's a chance we actually want the Cloud of the Dominus. Um, it's not good versus a property decay. Like uh, when we targeted uh, Arcanus with it. But it is really nice that we can get an hasted Arcanus in it. So it, it actually, um, if we get that done, then it functions as an additional removal spell. And it also lets us flashback our braids, uh, which can be valuable. So I, I actually think there's some merit to trying these. Um, and I may actually. Do something like get a daze in one of my creatures for it. Or maybe just one card. It's, just, it's so important to get something done the turn you put two mana into your Dread Order Canis. So the fact that you uh, that we're able to do that plus Cloud on turn three and get like a removal spell out of it can be very important. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try cutting one for the wolf for it. I, I haven't really played with Cloud of Dominus before this league, so I'm still experimenting with it a, a bit. But I, I quite easily dismissed it in uh, after uh, round one of this match. But I think there's some merit to it since it's, it's just so important to have everything that removes a creature, um, like try and optimize that to have as much removal in your deck as you can. Um, like a hand like this, it's <laughs> Hill Breach is a nice card, but this is just not doing anything, so uh, I'm not getting this. 
Um, we have a wasteland and forest. We don't have a one mana removal spell, but we can counter their first spell and then a braid on turn two. So I'm going to keep this. Um, I think we have to keep the lands. Um, the braid is a bad removal spell, but it's something that can remove, like Alasara Shepherd. And then. Dreader Arcane is definitely our best card. But it's also like. We don't have cantrips yet. Force is really important to not die to anything they do here. But I really want to play my Delver on turn 1. So then that means that I would have to get rid of my Braid or my Dread Order Canist. Um, don't go so, fall so far behind with so little interaction. Maybe this is just not the game for Dreadhor then? <laughs> that sounds silly. It's a first of else. Okay, since I already mulliganed, I'm gonna get rid of the Forceful and just have to get lucky that they're not uh, explosive. I need to get something going and like, I, I can get rid of the Delver and keep the Forceful, but then I'm also giving up my days. Like, it's like Delver and days versus Forceful basically. I hope I've just found a lightning bolt or something. Oh, we didn't. Um, it might just be worth it to preordain here instead of Delver. Uh, to try and find something like our Blazing Folly or a Rough or maybe just a Force. Yeah, I think we have to find something. Uh, brainstorm and Force Will. So the Force Will, I think we just need it and try to get some somewhere. I don't think we have time to hope that the brainstorm gets us our answers since we only have one blue red mana um if we have to cast brainstorm in like in next turn or turn after we're just basically throwing away a turn so i don't think we can keep the brainstorm now even though it digs us deeper to more land or more removal no uh, we don't have the time for this This looks like a Gaius Cradle turn. So then the question is, do we force aggressively? Oh, never mind. The card that stops all interaction. Oh, this, um, sorry, but this is really is a bullshit card. It, it, it basically made this, this matchup from, oh, it's nice, you have some different options and you keep a lot of hands into you have to have like all your removal spells or you just die before you can do anything. Yep, draw your card. So now I have to remove it just so I can do for one myself on their Next important play. Hope is just nice since that does limit the amount of great plays they have. Um, but yeah, I definitely just have to hope that they're like very heavy on Epiroptic Ace <laughs> and just don't kill me before I get my game going. But yeah, this is tough. Like they have at least three, four, five, six mana now. Uh, so, I think uh, this is a good sign that they're just attacking. But, uh, but it, it, it does start to feel like a uh, uh, Blazing Volley or Bust game. Um, so because they already have this much mana, so they already had like three, four, five, six, seven mana. I'm not sure how much the Hurt Druid adds, so I think I have to let it resolve. 
just fight over their insects, their glimpses, and with your orders. Um, so the problem here with Dread Order Cane is that it's very likely that they're gonna abrupt decay it, but I don't see how I get through that. I, I could get rid of their black source and play a Delver and then hope to draw a land. But yeah, that doesn't work with the Karma Ranger in play. Like if they didn't have this, I think that would be a viable line just to uh, take them off of black, hope they don't draw another land and then go for the uh, Dread Order Canis without them being able to approach TK. Um, but with this situation as is, I'd like to get them off Cradle, but I basically gave, off, uh, gave up that line of play by letting this resolve, and I think that's fine. But it does mean I'm playing into a Prep Decay here. Yep. Problem is also we, we can't really can trip into something like Blazing Volley or, or Rough, who we have to just draw it. So we're already in dire straits, but at least we're, we're not under that much pressure. Yeah, Visionary is fine. It's not a repeatable or like big source of card advantage. As long as I don't find the other service shepherd, at least we have something to stop their winning plays. He said. Yeah, now they might just uh, destroy me. Or just do that. That's also a viable plan. GG's opponent. I will give you the satisfaction of actually doing the damage. Yeah, this matchup got quite rough, but also the our draws didn't really work here. Yeah. This card is good. Really, really good. Okay, um, I'll see you guys for the next round, uh, you folks, and uh, 